<laughs> oh, God. Is that you, darling? Yeah. Did they get off all right? All packed up and ready to go. Oh, I will miss them. That's the last of them now, isn't it? Poor Lena died last year. Don't see old Kate since she went to live with her daughter and now they've carted poor Tommy and Dolly off to the nut house. <laughs> no, it's not a nut house, it's sheltered accommodation. Call it what you like, love. They'll still be splashing about in their own piddle come tea time. <laughs> well, at least they've not split them up. Oh, you can't split up twins, darling. <laughs> Tommy and Dolly must have lived together for 60 odd years. Uh -huh. Are they inseparable? No, they ain't Siamese. <laughs> I mean, that is dreadful, that, though, isn't it, eh? I mean, when they're joined at the hip, they got half a chance, but when it's one great walloping head and two bodies hanging off it, <laughs> you don't know where to look. All right, Nan. No, no, I see a programme about it on the telly. American pair, they are. One of them rolls a bat on a trolley, the other one's a country and western singer. <laughs> I mean, fair's fair, I'm all for the Special Olympics, but they ain't got to make fucking records. <laughs> Nan, I didn't mean that, I meant, are they close? They're stuck together at the end, how close to one of them? I meant Dolly and Tommy. Oh, yeah, oh, they're devoted to each other, darling. They never lived more than ten minutes apart, even when they were married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have had some laughs over the years, oh, I know that much. During the war, we was all evacuated together down to Wiltshire. We ended up in a lovely old farmhouse with a big dungy pat the back. Oh, she was a beast, though, the woman who looked after us. She made us leave our shoes at the door. I'll never forget the first letter Dolly and Tommy wrote home. It said, Mother, get us on the first train out of here. She won't let us wear shoes in the house and there's a big pile of shit in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was one I didn't want. Man. Oh, well, tell her, Tom. Hello, Joel. Uh, that's the end of an era, that is. Oh, I'm all on my own now, and I? Oh, no, I nearly forgot. They asked me to give you this. Who is it? A little present. Oh, they didn't have to do that. Oh, and that kind of them. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's choked me up, that is. Oh. Well, look at that, eh? That's cost a few quid, isn't it? <sighs> <laughs> it's a wooden squirrel. It's a wooden fucking squirrel. <laughs> Seventy years I've known them and they got a lump of wood and made a squirrel out of it. <laughs> what a fucking limit. <laughs> Look, there's an inscription. <clears throat> Some people come into our lives and go quickly. Others stay a while, leave their footprints on our heart, and we are never, ever the same. Oh, they want shooting, they really do. <laughs> Man, Dolly and Tommy don't have much, but they still wanted to buy you this. It might not be a lot, but it's a token of their gratitude for all the years of friendship and good times you had together. It's a fucking squirrel! <laughs> Mastos! <laughs> yeah, both of ya! Take your friendship, take your good times, take your fucking squirrel, <laughs> shove it up your twin arses! <laughs> These shoes are tight. 